Hello everyone, this video would focus on the conchoid of Nicomedes. Before we go over the formula and the graph of the conchoid of Nicomedes, let's go over the history. The name conchoid means shell form. This was studied by the Greek mathematician Nicomedes in about 200 BC in relation to the problem of duplication of a cube. Nicomedes was a minor geometer who worked around 100 BC. His main invention was the conchoid ascribed to him by Papus. Conchoid was a favorite with a 17th century mathematician and could be used as Nicomedes had intended to solve the problems of duplicating the cube and trisecting an angle. Now let's have the mathematical definition of a conchoid. A conchoid is a plain quartic curve consisting of two separate branches, either side of an asymptotic to a central straight line, which is called the asymptote, such that if a line is drawn from a fixed point, which is the pole, to intersect both branches, the part of the line falling between the two branches is of constant length and is exactly bisecting the asymptote. Now let's look at the graph and the equation of the conchoid of Nicomedes. We remember that the formula for the conchoid of Nicomedes is quantity x minus a squared quantity x squared plus y squared minus b squared x squared equals zero. And we are going to add the slider so we can see the graph of the conchoid of Nicomedes. So this is the shape of the graph. Now let's investigate the effects of A and B on the graph of the conchoid of Nicomedes. So if our A is zero, so every time we get an A that is zero, then the graph is a circle. Now if we increase the A, notice this very carefully, then we start to form this loop right here. So the loop is, start, is starting to form. Now if we increase this farther in such a way that, now you see the loop becomes smaller and so, smaller if we increase the value of A. Now if we increase this farther in such a way that the ratio or the absolute value between A over B is 1, that's the point when the loop is going to disappear. So if the absolute value of a over B is 1, then the um, loop starts to disappear. Now, if we increase this farther, then the graph is going to move towards the right. Now, what happens on the other way around? So, we start on 0, which is a circle, and we are going to decrease the value of A. We go to the negative side. Again, the uh, loop is starting to uh, form again, and then up to a point when we, it comes to negative 1. So when it comes to negative 1, then the loop starts to disappear, and notice that the absolute value of A over B is 1. So when the absolute value of A over B is 1, then the loop starts to disappear. And then since we are going to the negative side for the A, then the graph is going to go towards the left side. Now the work or the effect of B on the graph is that it makes the graph wider or it makes the graph skinnier. So this is the graph of the conchoid of Nicomedes in the Cartesian coordinate plane. Now let's look at the graph of the conchoid of Nicomedes in the polar coordinate. The polar equation of the conchoid of Nicomedes is R equals B plus A secant of theta. And we are going to add all the sliders. So once we add all the sliders, then we are able to see 
la concoid of Nicomedes. It is pretty much the same thing. If the A is zero, then we are able to form a circle. Now, if A increases in such a way that the ratio, be, so it's, it's starting to form the uh, loop. Now, this loop starts to disappear as we increase the value of the A in such a way that if the value of A is 1 or the absolute value of A is 1, then the loop starts to disappear and then the graph starts to move to the right. And it's going to be the same thing if we go to the negative side. So the um, if we decrease the value of A, the loop starts to disappear in such a way that if it becomes negative 1, in which the absolute value of the ratio between A over B is 1, so the loop starts to disappear and the graph starts to move to the left side. Now, the effect of the B is it either makes the graph wider or it makes the graph skinnier. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!